Well, well, well. It looks like we have some breaking news in the world of artificial intelligence. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. This is huge, guys. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, just revealed some key details about GPT-5, the most advanced AI system ever created. And let me tell you, this is not your ordinary AI. This is something that can do things that no other AI can do. Things that will blow your mind, things that will change the world, and things that will make you question everything. What are these things, you ask? Well, you'll have to watch the rest of the video to find out. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. This is GPT-5, and it's coming very soon. What's up everyone? This is Andre from Stock and Hustle, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. You guys are awesome. So, today we're going to talk about GPT-5, the most advanced AI system ever created. And I know what you're thinking. What is GPT-5 and why should I care? Well, let me tell you. GPT-5 is not just any AI. It's a system that can generate text, images, audio, video, code, and more from any prompt. Yes, you heard me right, any prompt. You can give it any word, phrase, sentence, paragraph, or even a whole document, and it will generate something related to it. And not just something random or generic, something realistic and relevant, something that makes sense and fits the context, and something that you can use for whatever purpose you want. But how is that possible? How can GPT-5 do all that? Well, it's because GPT-5 is powered by a massive neural network with trillions of parameters, trained on billions of data points from the internet and other sources. A neural network is a type of machine learning model that mimics the structure and function of the human brain. It consists of layers of interconnected nodes that process and learn from data. Parameters are the values that determine how the nodes interact and produce outputs. Data points are the pieces of information that the neural network learns from. The more parameters, the more data points, the more powerful the neural network. And GPT-5 has a lot of parameters and data points. In fact, it has more than any other AI system in history. GPT-5 has about 100 trillion parameters which is 25 times more than GPT-4, the previous version of GPT. GPT-5 has also been trained on about 1 billion web pages, which is 10 times more than GPT-4. GPT-5 has also been trained on other types of data, such as books, images, audio, video, code, and more. GPT-5 has basically learned from the entire internet and beyond, but GPT-5 is not yet publicly available. It's only accessible to a select few researchers and developers who are part of OpenAI, the nonprofit organization behind GPT-5. OpenAI is a research lab that aims to create and promote friendly and beneficial artificial intelligence for humanity. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by a group of visionaries such as Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman, and others. OpenAI is funded by donations from individuals and organizations such as Microsoft, which invested $1 billion in OpenAI in 2019. OpenAI is also supported by a team of experts, such as Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. Sam Altman is a prominent figure in the tech industry. He is best known for being the former president of Y Combinator, the most successful startup accelerator in the world. He is also an investor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is one of the leading voices in the field of artificial intelligence, and he recently gave an exclusive interview to Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft and a prominent philanthropist, about GPT-5 and its potential applications and implications. In the interview, Sam Altman revealed some key details about GPT-5 and what it can do. According to him, GPT-5 is underway and will substantially differ from GPT-4. He also shared some of the amazing features of GPT-5. For example, one of the features is the ability to create realistic and interactive AI agents that can converse, learn, and perform tasks with humans and other agents. He gave some examples of how GPT-5 can create a virtual assistant that can book a flight, order a pizza, or play a game with you. Or a chatbot that can have a natural and engaging conversation with you about anything you want. Or a game character that can react and adapt to your actions and choices or a robot that can understand and communicate with you in natural language. 
Another amazing feature of GPT-5 is the ability to enable the development of advanced robotics that can sense, act, and communicate in complex and dynamic environments. He gave some examples of how GPT-5 can create a robot that can navigate and manipulate the real world, such as a robot that can clean your house, cook your food, or help you with your homework, or a drone that can fly and deliver packages, or take photos and videos, or a self-driving car that can drive and park itself, or avoid accidents and traffic jams, or a robot dog that can play and fetch or protect and comfort you. GPT-5 can also generate synthetic data that can augment or replace real data for training and testing purposes. He gave some examples of how GPT-5 can create a data collection that can simulate any scenario or condition you want, such as how a disease spreads, or how a climate changes, or how a market fluctuates. In addition, GPT-5 can cover any domain or task you want by producing a data source that is able to teach you a new language, or a new skill, or a new subject. Furthermore, GPT-5 can improve the quality and accuracy of your models by offering a data sample that has the ability to reduce the bias, noise, or errors in your data. Finally, GPT-5 can create new and novel data that can inspire new ideas and innovations. GPT-5 can also be customized and fine-tuned for specific domains and tasks, such as education, healthcare, customer service, personal assistance, entertainment, and more. He gave some examples of how GPT-5 can be used for various purposes, such as creating educational content, diagnosing medical conditions, providing customer support, managing personal schedules, generating entertainment content, and more. GPT-5 is also a step towards achieving Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, the ultimate goal of artificial intelligence, where machines can understand and perform any intellectual task that humans can. He explained how GPT-5 is able to learn from any type of data, generate any type of content, create any type of agent, and enable any type of robotics. He also explained how GPT-5 is able to adapt to any situation, solve any problem, and achieve any goal. But how does GPT-5 compare to GPT-4, the previous version of GPT? Well, in a nutshell, GPT-5 is a lot more powerful, versatile, and intelligent than GPT-4. GPT-4 can only generate text, while GPT-5 can generate text, images, audio, video, code, and more. GPT-4 can only generate generic content, while GPT-5 can generate realistic and relevant content. GPT-4 can only generate data that is based on existing data, while GPT-5 can generate synthetic data that can augment or replace real data. GPT-4 can only create passive and static text, while GPT-5 can create realistic and interactive AI agents. GPT-4 can only enable the development of simple and scripted robotics, while GPT-5 can enable the development of advanced robotics that can sense, act, and communicate. GPT-4 is a remarkable achievement in natural language processing, but GPT-5 is a step towards artificial general intelligence. So, what do you think of GPT-5 and the future of artificial intelligence? Do you think GPT-5 is amazing or terrifying? Do you think GPT-5 is beneficial for humanity or harmful? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. This is your favorite AI enthusiast, Andre, signing off. Until next time, stay safe, stay smart, and stay awesome. Bye for now.